Okay. So, not the busiest weekend I thought it was going to be. Um, first things first, I want to apologize. I already apologized to the team themselves. But, again, if you were wondering, you know, I said there was going to be another interview, you know, in the next couple of weeks. That did not happen. Things happened on Saturday. So, you know, I had to do some stuff on Saturday, which I'm not supposed to go into. But, you know. Uh, short and simple, it was a mockery thing. So that's all I'll say is that it was a mockery thing. So money, money, money um, for me. So no interview with the Texas Hot Shots. I know, I know. I was really going to ask them. My first big question I was going to ask them was like, hey, why did you guys name yourselves the Hot Shots? I just wanted to ask them that and then, you know, some other stuff. But that's not going to happen at this moment. I'll continue to t talk to them in a couple of weeks. You know, it depends on how busy you know, the next couple of weeks to get because, again, March Madness is here. It's going to be here. I'll talk about that, you know, a little later on and everything like that. But, yeah, this week in indoor football, it is a beautiful March 17th. It is a beautiful night. It's about to be 9 o'clock Central Time, 10 on the East Coast, and you see things have been confirmed, games have been played, and everything is coming along smoothly. So, yeah, the AFL, um, the long-rumored TV deal that I've been mad about for God knows how long, it, it is the NFL Network. Both the NFL Network and the AFL themselves have announced it, so that's what I was waiting on. I wasn't waiting on rumors or anything like that. I wanted to see these two parties, you know, get together and say it themselves. So, <clears throat> so yeah, there's that. Um, the Philadelphia Soul are going to play a couple games in New Jersey at Cure Arena. Last time we saw, you know, a team at Cure Arena was the Jersey Flight. So, we all know how that went. Not well. Um, so, yeah. There's that, you know, that's really the only big things about the AFL 3.0 right now. Yeah, there's like some games getting rescheduled around and everything like that, but honestly, I do not care at this moment about games getting rescheduled. And we've, we've ha I've had enough of talking about games getting rescheduled. But yeah, this week, so let's start in the AIF. Um, really, you know, Cedar Rapids beating the brakes off of a semi-pro team. Corpus Christi beating the brakes off of a semi-pro team and getting their YouTube stream you know, blocked, but it's fine. It's fine. It, I think it was 50 to 18. I tried to look at something that would give you the final score, but it's okay. It's fine. But the real big one was Columbus Amarillo, which just finished about five, 10 minutes ago, 47, 26 Columbus, you know, continues to roll on Amarillo, you know, nice effort from them for the most part, but Columbus is just too powerful, you know, Again, this is Amarillo's first game in quite some time. So, you know, but Columbus, they knew what to do. They got their game plan in and they made it work. You know, there was some issues with the broadcast, and that's going to be a big thing throughout me talking about all these games. But, you know, it was like a 10 minute, you know, period where uh, the broadcast was like pitch black. But it's all right. It's, it was fine, you know. Um, to follow, you know, AIF teams and when their games are live, it seems like we're gonna have to follow their YouTube pages. So again, Corpus Christi YouTube page, Columbus would stream the game against Amarillo. I don't know what Amarillo's YouTube channel is. I, I tried to find which one they would use, but I don't know. And I don't know about Cedar Rapids, so I'll have to look into that and everything like that. But yeah, the IFL started up this Saturday night in a game, which I got back to the house and you know, it was a damn good game. Arizona, Northern Arizona, 51-40. The Rattlers come out on top in a really good game. You know, a really good game. You know, Arizona, you know, you know, there was there were some moments in this game where, you know, it was looking kind of it was looking kind of bad for the Rattlers, but you know, they pulled it together. You know, Kevin Guy and company is gonna pull it together. Uh, Dalton Sneed got hurt. I don't know what the extent of his injury is. That was the big thing. In this game, um, I'm not sure. We'll have to check the injury reports on that, see what happens you know, next week. And then the game 
um, this afternoon, Massachusetts, Green Bay. You know, Green Bay had the lead for a while, but then, you know, Green Bay going to Green Bay. Alejandro Benefield getting, you know, the big plays when needed. Um, unfortunately for Green, for that live stream with Green Bay, that, that game, the audio mixing was atrocious. It must have been an in-house issue. It's okay. Um, you know, as long as we see the game, it's fine for me. So there's that. So the IFL, pretty good week one, you know. You know, the commission was out in Arizona. He was out in Prescott Valley. So, you know, he was out there, you know, just trying to hype up the IFL. I don't know, the whole caffeine thing is a thing, again, where it's like, oh, well, there was like 220,000 viewers on caffeine for this one game, which, I mean, I guess I guess I could buy it. I guess I, I don't know. I don't know. It feels kind of wonky. Same thing with the whole, um, you know, fan control football thing. You know, where it's like it's kind of actually kind of wonky, you know, where it's like, you know, like those FCS game had like 10, 10 to like 100,000 viewers on like each of the games, if I'm not mistaken. And it's still jarring to me on Twitch and everything. So it's still jarring to me. So I'm like, oh, okay, I'll, I, I could buy it, I guess. I don't, I don't really care. I don't really care. I was more impressed that there were actually 2,000 people in the YouTube stream. I was more impressed. Cause it's rare. It's rare. You know, Rattler games get all the get all the people in the stream. Like, you know, like at least one k, one to one point five, you know, thousand, uh, one one to one point five k people in the stream, but not 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 two k in the stream. There was definitely two k in the YouTube chats, and that was great. And everything. I, but yeah, so I felt pretty good week one. On to week two. More games to come. And then in the NAL, um, well, it was interesting. Sioux City, you know, had a, you know, they were kind of dominating against Oklahoma, but, you know, Oklahoma came back a little bit. Again, Oklahoma's first game in quite some time as well as Oklahoma, not as like, you know, Oklahoma moving to Dodge City or anything like that. We're talking about the Oklahoma Flying Aces. Like the actual Oklahoma Flying Aces, not, you know, them moving to Dodge City. So, yeah, first game for – the Flying Aces in quite some time, and they held their own, but ultimately the City got the win in the end. You know, it was touchdown record broken. Strohaven, you know, with the uh, 100th win, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so, yeah, everything was good there. Um, Omaha, of course, you know, had a non-league opponent in Tri-State, which Tri-State's going to play another AIF team, if I'm not mistaken, down the line. So, and, of course, Omaha beat the brakes off in 74 to nothing. Probably the best game, and even though the game was marred by production issues, we're talking, you know, the camera being focused on the announcers for like painstakingly long periods of time. Everything, you know, still got the Facebook type production going on for Idaho, but it is what it is. And, you know, very entertaining game for Coach Negron and, you know, the Cobras. I'm probably saying his name wrong. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Coach. But, um, yeah, 51-49, very good game. You know, um, do the Nets factor in any of these games at all? Probably not. I'm just going to be real with y'all. I, I, I think I've said it. I think I think Todd Tryon has said it, you know, multiple times, and I think other people have said it multiple times. You know, the games with the Nets, you know, I'm not, I'm not a net purist. You know, I was, you know, maybe back in like, you know, in the old AFL days, but now it's just like, I'm just here for football. It, football is football. Put what you got on the field for me and I will enjoy it if I, if I really want to look at it. But yeah, so yeah, um, the NAO games were ranged from pretty, pretty okay to very, very interesting, you know, you know. Uh, the IFL games, of course, were very interesting, very high stakes games already. Green Bay going to Green Bay. And, you know, the what, seven, eight games we had this week, mostly production issues type stuff for all the games. But it's okay. It's fine. We got through them all. Um, hopefully, Corpus Christi's live stream will be back up because it looks like they had a pretty good crowd there. That That's one thing. So, yeah, that'll do it for me. Um, I'll see you all in about a few hours or so because I'm going to record the, you know, March Madness stuff and then, you know, have.
have it premiere in a couple hours or so. So take care. Have a good night, and I'll see you all soon.